Chapter 7, Sampling Distributions. In future chapters, we will be learning inferential statistics. In those chapters, we will use many samples to make estimates about a population proportion and population mean. So to do this well, we need to learn about the sampling distributions for two random variables called the sample proportion and the sample mean. So in these future chapters, we're going to take lots of samples and make kind of a new sample. So let's see what we're going to be doing in these chapters. So proportions are calculating percents. So like flipping a coin, 50-50 would be a proportion. We'll use proportions for things that have two options. So heads or tails. So we're gonna flip a coin. We're going to simulate flipping a coin and we're going to calculate the proportion. So I'm gonna generate a sample. So this is simulating flipping a coin 100 times and we get heads 47 times. So we get a proportion of 0.47 and we're gonna go ahead and plot that. And then I'm gonna take another sample and I get 46 out of 100. So we're gonna go ahead and plot 0.46, which is right here. And then we're gonna take another sample and we get 47 again. So we plot 0.47 again. Let's do another one. And now we get on the higher end, we get 56. So we plot 0.56. So I'm basically combining all the samples. One more, we get 38 and we get 0.38, so that goes way over here. So I'm plotting all the proportions and then fast forward, let's do it a thousand times and we get lots and lots of points. So this is my sample proportion. We're taking proportions from lots of samples and then combining them. And then we'll also do this for averages. So in this data set, I have the NFL contracts, so like how much money they're getting in millions of dollars. So I'm gonna generate one sample of, let's do 50 players. So we'll do sample size of 50, and I generate a sample, and the average for my sample is $3.1 million. So we plot 3.1 million. And then I'm gonna take another sample of 50 NFL players and find their contract. And this next sample had a different average, it should make sense, every sample varies a little. We get an average of 2.18 million. So we plot that. And we'll take another one, another sample of size 50. We get a mean of, or an average of 1.946, and we plot that. So every sample's a little bit different. We get 1.878, we plot that. 1.772, 2.814, right, we're plotting it. 2.069. So we're basically making a graph of averages. So this isn't a sample, this is the sample of averages. So these are just averages from different samples. And then we'll just generate a bunch. And so these are averages of different samples. So this section, we're going to be either plotting proportions or plotting averages. So it's not an original sample anymore, it's like a sample of samples. It's a little weird, but hopefully this will get us started for the chapter.